let us solve a question on profit maximization in case of monopoly this question i take from the telegram channel the question is the demand for the monopolist's output is 2000 upon p upon 3 whole square where p is the price uh, and it has a marginal cost which is constant which is equal to 60 dollars per unit what price will it charge to maximize its profit the options are 9 15 18 or 21 dollars okay since we have the monopolist's profit maximization problem we need to find out this condition marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost okay this condition marginal cost is given we need to find out the marginal revenue now marginal revenue can be derived from total revenue and we know total revenue is equal to price into output so we need to find out the inverse demand function okay let us see what we are being given we have q is equal to 2000 upon p plus 3 whole square okay we need to solve this for first price that is inverse demand function so we can write p plus 3 whole square is equal to 2000 upon q so i have just uh, uh, transposed this numerator to lhs and this q to rhs okay now let's transpose this exponent if it is 2 it will become 1 upon 2 when we transpose exponent it gets reciprocated on other side okay so we have p plus 3 is equal to uh, 2000 upon q raised power 1 upon 2 then we have p is equal to 2000 upon q raised power 1 upon 2 minus 3 okay solving again so we have p is equal to 2000 raised power 1 upon 2 i can write this q raised power minus 1 upon 2 it is in numerator if i sorry it is in denominator when transposing to numerator it is exponent sign will get changed okay it will become minus 1 upon 2 okay then we have minus 3 this is our inverse demand function now we need to find the total revenue which is equal to price into output price is this function which is 2000 raised power 1 upon 2 okay so in place of 2000 raised power 1 upon 2 let me write it okay let's write it as it is okay q to the power minus 1 upon 2 so to this we need to multiply by q okay so this is p this is q so this will become 2000 1 upon 2 okay then we have q to that power minus 1 upon 2 turn since this q is multiplied here also so we will write q minus 3 into q is 3 q this is our total revenue function marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue function derivative of total revenue function with respect to output okay so taking derivative of this with respect to output this uh, you know or let's uh, solve it further here okay so this can be written like this uh, 2000 q to the power now minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 because bases are same we can add up the exponents it will become 1 upon 2 here we have also 1 upon 2 minus 3 q now its derivative it will be equal to so our marginal revenue will be equal to so uh, since we are taking derivative with respect to q the exponent of this will become coefficient so we have uh, you know it will become 1 upon 2 then we have 2000 1 upon 2 q to the power 1 upon 2 minus 1 which will become minus 1 upon 2 okay so exponent is subtracted by 1 by power function rule i have explained it number of times okay minus derivative of q is 1 we are left with 3 this is our marginal revenue function now profit maximization requires marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost so this is our marginal revenue okay so this 1 upon 2 2000 1 minus 1 upon 2 minus 3 should be equal to marginal cost which is being given us as 9 uh, marginal cost is being given us six dollars okay so let's write it as six uh, then after uh, let us solve this for q here 
okay so i forgot to write here q actually it got messy here so let me write it again so we have 1 upon 2 into 2000 raised power 1 upon 2 q to the power minus 1 upon 2 minus 3 okay it should be equal to marginal cost which is six dollars so let us write it here six dollars which we get here so we have two thousand two thousand raised power one upon two q to the power minus one upon two is equal to transposing this minus here so six plus three is nine okay now transposing this term here okay we will get 2000 now raise power 1 upon 2 in place of q to the power minus let us take it to the denominator again and change the sign now 9 twos are 18 or we can write it like this 2000 upon q whole raise power 1 upon 2 will be equal to 18 or 2000 upon q now transposing again this exponent to rhs it will become square so it is 1 upon 2 it will become 2 upon 1 which is 18 square here now 18 square comes out to be so we have 2000 upon q is equal to uh, 324 or 324 q is equal to 2000 which implies q will be equal to 2000 upon 324 when you solve it will come out to be like 6.2 so our optimal profit maximizing quantity will be 6.2 now to find out the profit maximizing price just plug this 6.2 uh, which is q is equal to 6.2 in our inverse demand function in this equation so we will get so we have under root 2000 okay so we have 2000 raised power 1 upon 2 or simply let us put it here in this equation that means our p will be equal to 2000 upon q is 6.2 6.2 under root okay then we have minus 3 when you solve this it will come out to be 14.9 uh, which is 9 if you remove the decimal it will come out to be 15 okay so the profit maximizing price will be 15 i hope i make myself clear thank you